Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. So that was awesome. Just, uh, you know, I'm still in Atlanta and that 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 intro uh, was me just roaming around and kind of taking, uh, 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 yeah, it's just part of the city b -roll. so let me know what you think uh, and you can also follow me on instagram uh, if you're curious about my traveling photography and stuff like that anyway um just to kind of mix it up a little bit uh, and just you can see the lot of trees which seems like it's uh this is a tree problem so i don't know how does that mix up mix in or not anyway today's problem is find a corresponding node of a binary tree in a cone of that tree okay so given two binary tree original and cloned okay and are given a reference to node target the cone tree is a copy of the original tree we turn a reference to the same node in the cone tree you're not allowed to change them okay so basically okay this is very weird i mean it's not very that weird uh it's a medium okay uh, if repeated value on the trees are allowed, it's a binary search tree, right? Did I miss that? No, it's just a regular binary tree. I mean, that just means that instead of log n, you do O of uh, uh, n, right? Oh, uh, yeah. So instead of like doing, oh, well, yeah, depending on if it's a balanced binary search tree as well, but instead of something that can be possibly logarithmic, it is not at all. It's just, you know, you did that first search. Um, type thing in order post order whichever traversal you like to do um i think that's pretty straightforward I'm not sure why this is a medium but there's a lot of downwards for some reason uh i mean it seems pretty okay i don't know if there's anything weird about this one um and then the constraint is if repeated values on tree are loud then um hmm. i mean that's not the the input so, so we're not going to solve this per se but we could talk about it i think it really depends on what it means to be the same node then um mm, i mean i guess that's okay you do what you do i think is uh create a checksum of the node in the original and then you kind of use that checksum of the of the order subtree and then find and clone kind of a way of uh what you might call it uh robin carve i think that should be okay i mean i don't that's Actually, that would be an interesting problem. Uh, so, but if you want to upsolve it, see if you can upsolve it that way. I think there is a similar, or that is a similar problem that we've done uh, on lead code or something. Else I've done maybe it's on binaryresearch.com or something like that. But getting a create a hash code of the subtree will be kind of interesting, and that will allow you to kind of just find it on the other one. So that one is actually more interesting. But that said, because it, there's no repeated value. Um, I mean, we just have to do a regular depth of search uh, or traversal. So just do traverse, uh, node original, node cloned, target, right? So if node original is none, then return. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, if node original dot value is equal to target, then we return node cloned right yeah that's pretty much it really uh well we'll just set it because i think it's mm, yeah do we what do we return none if whatever or, okay uh oh, i guess it's a reference to a node so you must it must be there is that the, oh no target is a tree node so i guess we just do this oops so we do this right Otherwise, we traverse, uh, we turn this node original dot left, node clone dot left, target, or traversal node original dot right. Oops. Maybe I should type something shorter. Target, right? And that's pretty much it, I think. So we turn traverse. Original Kong target. Let's give it a spin. Maybe some of the notation is wrong. Easy to make typos as well. But this seems okay. So, so yeah, let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully this is right. Yep. Twice as slow as last time. So, 777 days. Yay. We hit the jackpot today. What did I do last time? 
Oh, last time I did do the fingerprint thing. Okay, cool. I mean, this is what we should do for upsolving. I guess today I'm lazier than last time. I'm still in the lantern, as you can see. Oh, yeah. The other thing I would say is just for kind of uh, memeing or whatever, for fallback, I'm, I'm doing this video in my Airbnb Sonder kitchen. So anyway, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so it seemed like last time I did do the one with the with the uh, repeated values with respect to the fingerprinting or what you know what we call a hash code or whatever. So definitely check out that video if you're curious about that one. Um, I I I mean I have a video out on that one, right? So it should be okay. Um, but yeah, but today it's gonna be linear time, linear space, just on a stack space, right? And you have to look for at, at every node. So um, so yeah, um, cool. That's pretty much all I have. I mean, and the fingerprint is that much faster. Hmm. That's actually surprising. But uh, but okay. Hmm. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.